We got back from Spenceville a little while ago. Had a pretty good hike. Uh, only saw a couple of little specks of gold, not even anything worth bringing home, really. So I just got back to Harl's house. Now I'm gonna go and look and see what kind of shape our camp is in down, in, down by the creek. So slick this time. I wish I hadn't worn shorts. All that green, but for the ferns, all poison oak, all the way down to the camp. Everything actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. Our fire reflector is still there. Shelter is still really solid. Tarp's seen better days, but other than that, everything looks okay. The creek's pretty low. Not the lowest I've ever seen it. I mean, it'll get bone dry. It's lower than it was last time I was here. And honestly, it looks like the, most of the reason why it's any of the water's moving is from all these bugs on top of it. Yeah, this is just a hole. This is just a hole I'm standing in. Water's just barely trickling down from up there. I'll show you. Just a little trickle up there. I mean, you can see how shallow this water is. This is all underwater last time. My feet are just raw from walking around barefooted in the creek up at Spenceville, and so it's just really sore. Okay, yeah, no. I don't even know. Eh, it's it's moving, barely, but moving's moving. I just wanted to check and see, well, see what kind of shape our camp was in. Um, after our hike up at Spenceville, it was nice to come out here, get in the shade a little bit, and relax. But uh, we both had a good time. Like I said before, we only found those couple of specks of gold at that very first spot. Everywhere else we looked was just nothing. Lots of black sand, but. We had fun. Both of us needed to get out of the house and off of our properties for a while. And today really hit the spot. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.